price tag has already raised a lot of eyebrows. <coughs> Pardon me. And as it should, more than $300 million, $300 million has already been given to the techies who built the crippled Affordable Care Act website. And uh, that's what we're facing as of right now. $300 million, and it's only 22 days into this program. Okay? Some other uh, things in the news today. Um... Uh, Thinner, lighter, faster. For some, the anticipation of the Apple event today is like Christmas. And I know I'm anxiously awaiting, even though I haven't bought an Apple product for four years. I have an iPad, excuse me, iPod 2, or rather, iPod second generation. It doesn't work anymore. But the new unit's supposed to be thinner. And I think one of the ways that Apple could really improve... uh, the iPad and the iPod is they have, if they have come up with a way <coughs> pardon me if they had a, a, a USB port on this thing way that you cook it up and I understand why that, to a certain extent why they don't because that would uh, kind of defeat the need for people to buy a bigger unit to store more data you know let's just say for example why pay for a 32 gig byte unit when you can get an 8 byte gig, 8 gigabyte unit, and still be able to store the same amount of information offline? Well, today will be the day that the uh, tech giant will unveil its new goodies. Rumors have been rampant that Apple will announce many changes to its iPads. Techies have been saying that the new iPad may be thinner, lighter, and faster. Apple CEO Tim Cook will act as Santa Claus this afternoon when he targets the stage in San Francisco to talk about the new gifts. So uh, let me know what you think about the new iPad. By uh, Send me an email, and uh, I'll read those comments for you on uh, tomorrow's program. Getting back to the president one more time. Um, War crimes. President Obama says drones are a necessary part of the war on terror. Now, a new report alleges that some of these uh, drone stri- uh, strikes <coughs> excuse me, are considered war crimes. Now, that's a difference of opinion. The new reports by two human rights groups take shots at the United States drone program. It says that there have been civilian deaths from U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan and Yemen. The report says it was hard to get information about the strikes because U.S. officials would not talk about them. But the president may be talking about the report this week. He's due to meet with the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan. So uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on that on uh, international news in the next days, weeks that are coming. And uh, here are a few other things we need to uh, take into consideration as we start off our Tuesday together and have the internet buzzing. The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, may want to go to New Hampshire, which is claiming ownership of a world record and a lot of pumpkins. The state says it has smashed the world record of most lit carved pumpkins in one place by having more than 30,000, that's right, 30,000 at a festival. Hopefully the uh, fire departments were nearby. This is not not the state's first attempt at this record. Uh, as a matter of fact, they tried this uh, five years ago. Cat and Shark's clothing. And since we're on a Halloween theme, check out a... There's a viral video rolling around of a cat dressed for the season. And just for added fun, the costume-wearing cat is chasing a duck. No reason is given. Sounds like a really weird cartoon, doesn't it? And... Uh, Another video circulating on the internet is uh, you may want to avoid while trick or treating. If you go by, you may want some sunglasses. It's a Halloween light show of a home that has a lot of Halloween lights and decorations on. And those are just some of the things that uh, are trending on this Tuesday. Well, coming up in a few minutes on the program. 
I'll have uh, news headlines as well as to look at the nationwide weather forecast along with the Kirksville, Missouri area weather forecast, which is calling for a cold one. And uh, I'm not referring to uh, beer this time. Also, I have news of the weird later on. The composer's uh, date book and the writer's almanac in a few minutes. Plus a whole lot more, so stick around. You're listening to a groggy edition of First Cup, and I'm your host, Joe Hafner. I'd like to drop out of high school and get a meaningless job that makes me feel bad about myself. I'd like to fall victim to the old boys network. I don't want anybody to notice me. I just want to fly under the radar. I want to splatter against the glass ceiling. I don't have an opinion. I want to be a straight C student. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I want to succumb to peer pressure all of my life. I'm going to be a best-selling author (laughs) and win the National Book Award. I'm going to be a marine biologist. Wait, I take mine back. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. I think I'll be the president. I'm going to be secretary of state. World-class chef, right here. Race car driver. Artist. Paleontologist. Film director. Surgeon. Teacher. Scientist. Olympian. I'm going to be the boss. Dad! Come on! Over here! Look at this, Dad! Over Whoa. The moment my son saw a redwood tree. It's huge! Is the moment I knew that for him? You can't even see the top of that thing! Even the sky has no limit. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Learn about forests near you and discover cool things to do when you go, like hiking, biking, fishing, or camping. Or do your own thing when you get there with family and friends. Your moment is out there. Find it at discovertheforest.org. That's discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Tartu? Where are you? Tartu? Tartu? Tartu, you're on fire! Tartu, D2, you found a cigarette! Well, I don't think smoking is grown up at all. Because it's very dangerous. Smoking does dreadful things to your lungs and is very bad for your heart. Well, I know I don't have one, but humans do, and I think we should set a good example. Well done, R2. Oh, hello. You know smoking is bad for your health, and it isn't grown up at all. So please, don't smoke. R2, do you really think I don't have a heart? So long, and thanks for all the fish. (laughs) Welcome back to Studio 4 on this Tuesday, the 22nd day of October 2013. And it's time for things you need to know. Open Gangnam Style oh. 
Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, and it is International Stuttering Awareness Day. I'm not making fun of stutterers. I have a problem with it occasionally, as do a lot of people I know. Well, not a lot of people, but a few people I know. But it is International Stuttering Awareness Day. So all you, uh, almost said Mel Brooks, Mel Tillis fans <laughs> unite. Although I understand that he's uh, undergone uh, speech therapy in recent years and has uh, solved some of those old problems. It is also Caps Lock Day! It's a campaign for the removal of the Caps button. Oh, sorry. It's a campaign for the removal of the Caps Lock button from standard QWERTY keyboards due to people continually accidentally pressing the button when they mean, mean to use other keys. So, you know, if you start to see a Caps Lock on your screen, please correct it unless you really want to send a loud message to somebody. Sound like Garrett Morris. Remember that? The old SNL bits from the late 70s and uh, Garrett Morris for the news for the hearing impaired. In the news today! Uh, Garrett Morris, if you don't know uh, who he is, uh, check out Two Broke Girls he plays on that show. Funny guy. Funny guy. Uh, let's see, on DVD this week, new releases today includes The Conjuring, The Internship, The Way, Way Back, before Midnight, Only God Forgives, and Call the Midwife, Seasons 1 and 2. In news attack this morning, a drunk driver was arrested in the state of New Jersey after workers at Burger King reported him asleep at the order screen for two hours. Now, what does it say for your business when people know that they can catch a two-hour nap in your drive through lane without blocking traffic. That has got to be the slowest Burger King in the world. You want it your way? Okay. Oh, we still didn't get it right? Okay. What about the car behind you? Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, they're, they're, but there's a car behind me. Don't worry about it. He's taking a nap. Two hours in the drive through I've been talking to those employees. Something's not right about that. Uh, other things trending today. Send your stuffed animal on vacation. What? A travel company has begun offering vacations for stuffed toys that will cost owners between $20 and $55. Give me a break. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take them on vacation. That'll be $55, please. Oh, $55? Uh, that's to cover uh, travel expenses and things like that. Now, at first may seem ridiculous that people are willing to pay money to send an inanimate object on holiday, but after hearing Yunagi Travel's explanation for the tours, there does seem to be some method behind the math madness. Uh, the owners of the stuffed animals say they live vicariously through them, and when they see the cuddly toys jetting off to luxurious places, they feel as if they're also traveling. You know, I think there are other issues at play here. But, uh, you know, well, I got a Darth Vader toy. I'll send him on a little vacation. Hopefully it won't be destroying any worlds. <laughs> That's a Star Wars joke. In the wacky but true files today, a Chinese lantern mistaken for grenade. Trains on some Times Square subway lines bypassed a station for about an hour yesterday. What looked like a hand grenade on the tracks turned out to be a Chinese lantern. And finally, the height advantage. What's an extra inch in height worth? Well, a study found that it could mean up to $800 a year in extra income. And you wonder why I want it to be 6 feet 4? <laughs> I could make another... $4,800 a year. Well, researchers found that tall people tend to earn more money and win more respect at work. Uh, just ask Bull Shannon about that one. Researchers also found that a height advantage, even in jobs where being tall isn't a qualification, in other words, they didn't look at pro basketball players. Now, there is some good news for non-tall. Researchers also said that being short doesn't appear to be a prohibitive disadvantage. Hard work, motivation, and intelligence can help bridge.